Well, shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you again from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And today we're going to talk about hacks in your reloading room. What you're looking at is my Dillon 550B, one of the two I have. And what Dillon provided us is this nice bullet tray. So the tray is just the right height and the right size and a whole lot of bullets to ergonomically allow us to take bullets from the tray to the cases without our hand having to do a lot of motion. And we like that, right? But this is a pretty expensive item. I only got one of these because it's uh, kind of costly. So what I did instead was using scrap lumber and MDF I made these boxes very simple you see still has the little stamp on the identification of the lumber but by building these boxes you can make them any height you want and then put a shallow tray on the top of the box to allow you to feed cases into your presses and this is inexpensive this shallow box as you see now notice for a different angle you can take cases from your little tray here and go ahead and batch them into your press and notice the cool thing about the inline fabrication mount here is that you can go ahead and place your cases that you've just done onto the surface of the inline fabrication as you see and you don't need to have an exit bin let's just check that perfect and notice what you can do take your tray and put it underneath here or if you want to use a bin the bin will go nicely underneath here and then just simply do this when you fill this up again you do that again and because it fits in there, whatever you're using, a tray or a bin, you just don't drop anything. Cool thing about this, might take advantage of this work surface that you have here. And with my other presses, you still have the same workspace provided by the inline fabrication. So I really like that. Otherwise, if you're going to use this for an exit bin you gotta throw it in and if you're gonna use the bins on this side the problem is you have to reach into the bin the Dillon's a lot shorter tray which is nice because you don't have to reach into the bin to get stuff now these bins are nice I like having them but for some operations is a little bit awkward this is very smooth as you saw now if you don't like that make a second box again with scrap stuff so it costs you nothing and then you can put your tray to put your cases directly into an exit tray and these are just simply jug jar lids and they come in all kinds of colors I like the ones that have a little ridge because then you can use it for a primer flipper or Another. look at this hack I got this formica covered nice it's got uh, like wood grain formica covered computer riser and 
I think I rescued it from uh, being thrown away. So I got it for nothing. But look what it does. It goes right up to my Lee six pack press here. And as you know, you put bullets in that station right there. Well, there's your tray with what we're doing is 230 grain full metal jacket. And look at that, you just pick it up, go right to your tray. There's no excess hand motion there. So the six pack pro can have this nice little hack there. So good reloading all of you out there. Take care. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.